This is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading, a romance reading for April 2020. And welcome back to the channel Cyber Angels and thank you for being so supportive and welcome new viewer um, to the channel and I hope you will enjoy it. I do go live on uh, Monday and Friday. Uh, in English and I I am busy with new projects so for the time being it will be just two evenings and I'm using the Angel Romance deck and the Enchanted Lenaman, the Answer of the Angels, Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. So please subscribe and hit the bell and when you hit the bell then make the choice all A double L and then you'll be notified as we are in the new system of YouTube like I've been saying for months but there are still some uh, what you can call it baby faults or niggly bits so bear with us okay the fur, uh, fur, uh, sorry and you'll find more information underneath the uh, video in the description box and you can see a white dot just there click on that and it will uh, take you through to the website your first card is free yourself it is time to take back control in your life perhaps there might be somebody demanding your time so take back control be yourself okay and this could also be in the relationship because it is the romance reading so perhaps you are being um, dependent on your partner or your partner is being more dependent on you okay so take back control D there might be discussions there might be meetings there might be uh, gatherings um, as you have the birds the birds means also news and it also means in the worst scenario be careful of gossip you've also got the seven of pentacles so so you are going to sow seeds this um, seven of diamonds it's seven of pentacles so take back control you I think you will by sowing a seed like let's try this and you will see it coming to fruition as it will take time to grow it's either somebody is uh, uh, depending on you or you are depending on them so learn to stand on your own two feet you're strong enough you've got uh, 12 that's three so you're creative enough this will also enhance your relationship as you are stronger they will see you in an other light it can only improve the friendship and relationship you might be going on honeymoon or you feel you might be on honeymoon at the moment with this lockdown okay enjoy the bliss of holiday time together um, like uh, it is very boring to be in the lockdown if you think of the word lockdown a lot of people are getting uh, panicky and scared etc etc don't worry enjoy this think of this as your honeymoon if you are hooked up and you have a partner make a honeymoon out of it okay there is definitely a man here um, uh, this could be um, uh, this is also uh, the ace of hearts so there could be a next level in your relationship or perhaps a new relationship uh, something is beginning but you've also got 28 which is a 10 which is also confirming there is a new beginning between you and a loved one or your partner this could be happening um, now but it could also happen in the second week of April then in the third week we've got flirt Ooh extend your light-hearted energy to others yes okay to others well in this case towards your partner or your loved one your children be more playful be creative if you are enjoying the time together you'll be 
light-hearted. You'll be singing with joy, hopefully, and that will shine. You'll be the beacon to others. You'll be the example to others. So enjoy this time of flirting. Ooh, look, we've got the child. Be more playful. Yes, let your inner child out. Like I said, enjoy each other's company. And I also said there is a new beginning, a next level in the relationship. And the child is confirming this as well. This could be a child, okay? This could be a child. You might find out you're pregnant or you might find out you've got an other job. A new job. Wow. But let your inner child come out. You've got 13, so 1 and 3 is 4. This will bring more stability, definitely, in the relationship if you are more playful. Now, in the fourth week, at the end of April, we've got separation. This is not a definite separation. This could be time out, or this could be a holiday, a business trip of your partner. So, uh, Perhaps he's a doctor or she's a doctor and she has to leave to go to another hospital out of the neighborhood. So there might be a separation for a time or it could be a nurse, anything like that. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. <coughs> now this card is the tree. Wow, I said hospital. So somebody's health, they might have to care for people's health because they are very specialized. So they might be called up. But the tree is also rooted and they, uh, it also means that they feel safe where they are and so do you. But you might have to leave to, for your work or job or health, somebody in the family because the tree is also the family tree. Perhaps you might have to go to a parent that is alone to nurse them back to health. It will also give you time and space to um, think about things, contemplate and meditate, uh, quietness, and that heals you as well. And I was talking about child and birth. Well, look what you've got here. There is a stalk. Wow! So the stalk means moving home. Like I said, somebody might be have to be away for a while to nurse somebody in the family. Or perhaps somebody is going to hospital to have a baby. That they will be away for a while as well. So this could be a birth of a baby or a birth of a child. And if you can't have babies because you're too mature, then you might become a grandmother or a grandfather. News. This also is a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue. You might be moving home. Wow, wow, wow. It is exciting. And there you've got answer of the angels. Opportunity, Aries. Opportunity. So look at this abundance and she's holding her hands out. This could be abundance of a long for, uh, a wish, a long a wish that will be fulfilled after such a long time. Perhaps a baby, a new job, a new home. <coughs> then we've got go with the flow, paddle on. You've got 42, which is a six, you're back in balance. So go with the flow, let it go. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you've got the card of Archangel Michael. Boundaries. Know your boundaries. Like I said, take back control. So know your boundaries. And let others know your boundaries. L line in the sand. Draw an imaginary line in the sand. Set your boundaries. This is also, if you let people know what your boundaries are, then they will re give you respect. This is forcing respect from others, not only in your relationship, but in your general life altogether. Archangel Michael hands you his sword. It is time to set an energetic boundary by symbolically drawing a line in the sand. So take back control and set the line. 
your boundaries and know your boundaries well my sweet Aries I hope you've enjoyed uh, this reading um, if it doesn't resonate with you then please check out your moon sign and your rising sign and I hope you will stay strong and will uh, be creative and enjoy this time for what it is uh, because you've got the three creative uh, creativeness um, endings and new beginnings uh, with love and also in the same card a ten number one so the ace um, then you've also got 13 which is a four there is this is the time to build stability okay a four is stability and from four you're going to five so you're getting better and better and better Wow and you've got 17 which is 8 you're in your strength you're in your powerhouse and money house so take that with you nothing but positivity and balance set that line I love you all take care be blessed and please share and like and see you in the life or in the next video ciao ciao